Hey, New Life Church. Welcome to this beautiful, beautiful Tuesday. Welcome to our track Devo as we are continuing through the book of 2 Kings. We've completed 1 Kings. We're in 2 Kings now. And as I've been reading this past week, and actually in the weeks previous to this, there are three words that I read over and over again that have really stuck out to me. Um, and you're probably wondering, what are those three words? Well, let me tell you. They are the words, followed the example. So we will we have read um, in chapter 13 and chapter 8 this past week, and then again in previous chapters um, before this, that a king would take to the throne. He would take over. And a lot of times the Bible would give this description of the king. He followed the example of. And it was held which king previous to him or kings previous, only that he was following their example. Now, sometimes you would read of a king who um, was following a godly example, was following a good example. But most of the time, the words were he followed the example and did evil. So there was this example that was set by those previous to him that this king chose to follow. But then what happened? Not only did the king follow the example that was set for him, but then the people would follow the example of the king that was in reign at that point in time. So we see that the example that is set is very, very important. Um, it was important for the kings, but it's also important for us today. And I started thinking, God, what kind of example am I setting? How many of you remember being in math class? And the teacher would say, I'm going to give you an example of how to do this type of problem. Watch what I do and then follow my example. So you would pay so close attention to what that teacher was doing and then you would try to mimic or try to take what she or he taught and then put it into practice. Or maybe it's riding a bike or maybe it was cooking or something else where you were learning how to do it and someone said to you, watch me, follow me, mimic me, do what I do, I will be your example, follow after me. And you would do that so that you could learn that skill or learn whatever it is that was before you. What kind of example are you? What kind of example am I setting when it comes to our spiritual walk with Christ? You know, there are people that are watching us. We don't always think about that. Um, of course, parents, you know, we always know that our kids are watching us, but all of us are an example set for somebody that's looking at our lives and looking how we act, how we react, what we say, what we don't say, how we treat others. We are setting example in our daily life. And my prayer is, God, I want to be the one that sets that godly example. I think of what was written in um, 1 Corinthians, where it was written, follow my example as I follow the example of Christ. The author wasn't just saying, follow my example, do what I do. He was saying, no, follow me because I'm following Christ. And that's what I want my testimony to be. I want to be able to say to someone, follow me because I want my life to so exemplify Christ that if you follow my example, you're following what Christ would have us to do. That didn't always happen as we were going through the book of Kings. The example that was set by the, the leaders or um, the kings was not always a good example for those behind them following. Now, you may say, but Pastor Julie, I'm not a leader. It doesn't matter. All of us set an example to someone, to a neighbor, to the cashier in the store, to our children, to our coworkers. We all are setting an example. So then the question is, what kind of example are we setting? Are we setting an example where we can honestly say to someone, follow me because I'm following Christ. And that's what my heart's desire is. And that's the challenge for you and for me is that as we go about our daily life, as we go about all the things that come our way, one, don't forget that you're setting an example to someone who's looking to you. Two is be careful what kind of example you are setting because we so want our lives to reflect Jesus that it's not me, but it's him that they see in me. New Life Church, I pray that these few words have blessed you and I pray that you have a wonderful week. Know that we love you, we care about you, and that we are always, always here for you. God bless.